What's up guys, Iceman here, bringing you a Gears of War 3 gameplay on Academy, and this is the gameplay I promised you guys on my Let's Talk Zeta gameplay on Thrashball. told you guys that I would post my Academy gameplay, and uh, here it is, it's a day late, I didn't have time to get around to it due to work, but uh, if you guys don't know what Zeta's about and you didn't see my Thrashball gameplay, basically this playlist is a 4v4 execution, uh, you spawn with Lancer and Nasher only, no Hammer Burst, Retro, or Sawed Off. So it gives you that Gears 1 feel, and there is no stopping power. So as, as you noticed, as I was lancering that guy grabbing Torque Bow as he ran away, he didn't slow down at all. He didn't flinch when he was lancered. So it takes away that stopping power. Now, I think I'm about to get... Yeah, I definitely just got raped right there. I didn't see that guy coming. Uh, fucking Whoopi Goldberg kind of snuck up on me. But anyways, I want to talk to you guys a little bit about um, the Zeta gameplay. Um, I, I love this game. The playlist, sorry. Uh, it's a great playlist, and I hope... Epic keeps it. You know, I really do hope so, because it'll give those true Gears 1 fans kind of a getaway when they play Gears 3. It'll give them that Gears 1 feel that they've been missing for so many years. And, you know, a lot of guys that uh, picked up Gears 3 went right back to Gears 1 due to that uh, more of a Gao 2 feel to it. Uh, Gears of War 3 has a mixture of Gears 1 and Gears 2, but it's more, more or less based on Gears of War 2 gameplay. Uh, Gears 2 gameplay was more slow paced, they added mortars, uh, hammer burst, that was semi-automatic, that would down you quick as hell, uh, you know, they got the whole meat shield cover system, also slows down gameplay, you, you don't want to push a meat shield, uh, you know, they, they just got a whole bunch of lancers and hammer bursts and a whole bunch of assault rifles, you know, people in Gears 1 stayed away from lancer and sawed off, unless you were in scrims and whatnot, of course, you're going to want to use assault rifles and scrams, but if you played ranked on Gears 1 back in the day, guys, you know the main weapon used was Nasher, and now it seems like everybody, it's like a mixture of weapons in this game. It's more well-rounded, yes, indeed, but that whole stopping power thing and, you know, the bloom on the sniper it just takes away that Gal 1 feel to it, so Zeta is kind of bringing that back, and I hope they hold on to it, but uh, more or less, none of that. Um, I'm going to talk a little bit about uh, the whole micro thing, uh, I'm not going to make this a whole drawn out thing. Uh, yes, he did get caught setting up clips. Uh, none other guys that I know of in Chaos set up clips. Until they're caught, I don't want to hear any comments saying, Oh, Chaos, all of those Chaos guys set up. Because that's not true. I've never once set up a clip. Not even for fun. Like, not even in a private match for fun. Um, you know, it's just stupid. My reputation is too big on YouTube and the Gears community to set up clips like I would have to be a complete moron to set up a clip um, you know I guess uh, it kinda got to micro a little bit you know he wanted to be known as one of those nasty amazing snipers and you know just pulling off those double blind fire collateral tebos was just a bit much you know it really gave people that wonder like you know that's too good to be true which it was um, uh, opportunity like that comes like literally one in a two million tries you know it's never I'm not gonna say it's never gonna happen but you know the guy hit a, a triple Tebow on blood drive with uh, a collateral across the map blind fire you know that goes for you know me like butter Landon none of us set up clips you know none of us I, I swear on everything I love in this world none of us have ever set up a clip you know we're not dumb enough to set up clips and uh it's more or less the smaller guys on YouTube that are, are setting up clips because they want to get those nasty wow factor clips out there to uh, make a name for themselves in the community. And a as you know, that I know, you know, basically everybody knows that it's hard to make a name for yourself in the Gears community. It's a really small community and it's almost like only the guys that are big in the community get the attention, which is sad, but it's true and um so for those smaller guys out there they're they're just setting up clips and trying to get their names out there more with the the nasty clips and that just you know really makes me wonder you know I've talked to the other Arabs in our our, our team you know Twister uh Tarikos and you know Seeker all of them they uh they swear that they don't set up clips and I know you guys are going to think that you know Twister and all of them set up clips too cuz they were all friends you know Calx none of them set up clips you know, if they do, I'd be really surprised, but enough of that. I don't want to have a long, drawn-out thing about the whole micro situation. But it's just sad because it wasn't only making micro look bad, it was making the team look bad, too. Because if you, you guys know that a team can't talk shit, you know? 
If there's one guy in chaos talking shit in game chat, it makes the whole team look bad. They're like, wow, those chaos guys are assholes, you know? So we tell our members, you know, no trash talking. You're in chaos now. If you have a problem with trash talking, stay in party chat, you know? We can't be having the reputation for a team that trash talks. Yeah, that's just bad publicity. You don't want anything. Basically, basically, guys, if you're in a team, a large team, this goes for all you clans out there, AE, Decay, uh, Dark, uh, Array, Avenge, all you guys, um, just don't trash talk. If you guys want to be known in the future, it's going to be hard to have a reputation on YouTube if, you're, if your members are trolling and trash talking. You don't want to be known as a troll, and that, that's just bad publicity, like I said, so... Um, if you guys have problems trash talking, just stay in party chat and um, just stay with your teammates. I, I know how it is sometimes. Like, you guys are humping you in a ranked match. You're gonna want to go to game chat and just say, "Wow, fuck you guys. Y'all are fucking faggots." But all it takes is one guy to record that and post it and make you look bad because, you know, you have no defense. You can't record your voice unless you're doing a live com. So it's just basically all they're gonna hear is you talking shit. So. Um, guys, just stay away from the shit talking. Uh, the Gears community is infamous for the shit talking. Like, every game you go into, you're getting humped. I can't go into a game, you know, if I have a bad game, they're just like, Iceman, are you going to put that on YouTube? And it's just like, of course I'm not going to put the game on YouTube, you know? My team got slaughtered. I, I went like 5 and 4 last night, and my team, all my teammates had one kill. We were playing Zeta. And, uh, these group of guys that were fans of mine on YouTube were trolling the hell out of me because my team lost and they're like nah we're, we watched your vids man good game good game and they're like yeah they weren't ready for the dick or some shit like that they weren't ready to get slapped or some shit like that basically I don't let it get to, I don't let it get to me it's no big deal it's just the community is revolved around shit talking and now the whole setting up clip thing it's just we just need to be legit with our shit guys um you know I, I miss the standards when you could post an on-screen double or you know a pop shot with like a hard aim you know feel good about your clip and uh, it was the whole setting up clip thing that made the standards go through the roof like when micro put out that triple uh, it's just like damn <laughs> like what kind of clips am I getting lately it made your clips look like dog shit and like the whole time the guy was setting up clips so it's just like I'm not saying all his clips are set up because obviously his sandbar clip with the cross the map blind fire you can't set that up it's a fucking blind fire across the map he would have been there all night so some of his clips are legit like his um, you know dry dock like triple blind fire like that shit was insane like I don't care if he was there all night setting up it's the fact that he had three blind fires like or like a quad I don't know how many blind fires it was but it was a beast clip, and uh, I really don't think that was set up. So the guy was a good player. He just let the the publicity get to him, and he wanted to be known as, you know, one of the best montage makers and clip getters. When, um, it just I, I guess it just got to him. I don't want to rant about it, but I'm having a pretty good game here on the Zeta playlist, and I continue um, to play this as long as you're with a party, uh, a few group of friends, you can play this playlist because. Every time I played this playlist, there was a full team of four, and they were um, trying their hearts out, which, you know, when you play a video game, of course you're going to try. So if you got four guys all trying, and you got just maybe one, you and a friend in your party, you know, it's going to be kind of hard. But the sad thing is, you can't search with a full team of four, I don't think. I think you, the only person you can search with is uh, one buddy, so you're going to be with different people that you don't know, which kind of sucks. Um... I don't know why they did that, but tonight I'm going out ice skating. I'm fucking six foot seven, and I'm gonna go ice skating. I, um, I don't know how I got put in this. My my boy Dakota is going with his girlfriend. He invited me and my girlfriend, and uh, my boy's girlfriend's girlfriend is going with her boyfriend. So it's gonna be like a triple triple date or some shit. But uh, I hope I don't bust my ass. Cause I went ice skating one time when I was 14. And I got a concussion. They give you these little buckets that you can like skate with if you're a beginner. So you like bend over and hold the bucket and the bucket slides across the ice. So like if you get unbalanced, you can hold on to the bucket and it keeps you centered. Oh, well, I fell back. <laughs> I fell back and busted my head on the ice and blacked out. And I remember waking up like seconds later with just the worst headache. Like I felt like my skull was broken. But, um, yeah, guys, the whole uh, micro thing is going to blow over. You know, 
we uh, I actually asked him. I was like, you know, I just want to hear from you, like your side of the story. He told me he didn't set up clips, and then like 12 hours later, uh, he told Like Butter that he actually did set up clips, and uh, he actually left the team himself, which uh, it was probably the best thing for him and um, best thing for the team too, because we wouldn't want to hold on to a guy that has deceived so many of our fans. It just makes us all look bad in general. And I I like Micro. You know, he's a good guy. He just made some mistakes. So, um, you know, I hope he, in the future, um, you know, doesn't set up clips anymore and goes for legit shit. And uh, maybe he can get his reputation back. But as for now, his reputation is pretty much shot, which is sad because he just got a partnership. And uh, things are looking on the bright side for him. But anyways, guys, um, the community channel is doing very well. I put up three or four videos today. Actually, I think four. And, uh, yeah, four videos. I put up a uh, clip of the day. I put up a clutch. Put up a montage, and I put up uh, episode two of top five fails. I'm gonna put that little link in the end of the video. If you guys could please go check out my fails, um, it's definitely a funny video. You guys will enjoy it. And uh, this commentary is wrapping up here in this next round. So after this next round, I want you guys to go check out that video and please give me a thumbs up and support the channel. I've been working my ass off on that community channel. And it's it's coming out great. Uh, I hope to see 5K here in the near future. And um, I'm almost back to 38,000 subscribers, guys. Because on January 12th, I lost 1,500 subscribers. And some of you guys are like, holy shit, you lost 1,500 subscribers? Like, I remember I told Enemy that I lost 1,500 subscribers. And he, like, freaked out. Because he only lost 50. And he, he thought that was a big deal. But I get a, over 1,000 subscribers a month. So I'll, I'll get it back in no time. Um, I hope you guys have a good night. I pray to God that I don't bust my ass and get another concussion. Guys, cross your fingers. Um, the video link will be at the end of this video. Click the middle of the screen, please. And uh, go drop me a thumbs up and a comment. Peace out, guys, and take it easy. What's up, guys? Iceman here bringing you Top 5 Fails, episode number 2. Let's kick it off with number 5.